not spinning. Yay! <laughs> Hi, everybody. I was trying to, you know, hit the 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 goal. Anyway, the buttons sometimes are a little bit slow, but I'm glad that we got it going. Um, so just to let you know, I'm Abby. I'm of AV Tarot Reading, and today is March 27th. And the game plan for today is to be reading for you all um, for the next hour. Um, so if you're finding me after the 27th, that's more than fine. You can still um, listen to the read. You can still listen to some of the comments that are questions and comments that are happening. Um, uh, during this time. Sometimes those messages tend to resonate or can resonate over distance and over time if we like to get dramatic. <laughs> so the format for today is that we'll be reading for about 40 minutes and then we'll take a four minute break and talk a little bit about my practice. Also um, how you can schedule a reading with me as well as um, talking a little bit about a new service that I just introduced so that you have all the information and all the ins and outs um, for that. Um, for the last 10, 15 minutes, we'll be doing uh, flash readings. And for anybody who doesn't already know, those are super fast one card readings that we do to kind of get as many people in at the last minute as we can so that everybody, or at least as many people as we can, can be read. Now, we do not select in a particular order. We select kind of based on variety. So depending on how the, the evening progresses and the type of questions that are progressing, we'll pick to kind of keep a rotation of that going. So definitely say hello to my Melissa, who's my partner in crime over to my right hand side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're my right hand person. You're my right hand. <laughs> Just say hello to her, annoy her a little bit. She's the one that's gonna be talking and chatting with you all in the comments. She's the one that's selecting questions for me and I will be focusing here reading for you all. So um, questions that we will not be touching on today is basically I'm staying out of COVID. Um, I know that we're kind of going into like these weird ebbs and flows um, with them. So um, if you're asking me questions about um, if you have it or if someone has it or what's going to happen when they such and such, I will direct you to a physician. I think they're going to be a little bit better or able to handle that question better than me. Um, also, I don't want to read about your time of death. To me, it just ruins the, the, the end of the movie. I don't want to do that to you. Um, and also like third party questions. So if you have the ex-boyfriend who has a new girlfriend, we're not gonna read on her. Like, you know, let's not get that nosy. <laughs> but yeah, so to ask a question, sweet peas, just go ahead and throw your question directly into the comments um, to give you an idea as to the best suited type of questions. I, I like specifics. Specifics help me get to the point. It helps me get to your answer quickly it helps me understand exactly what you mean and not be vague and kind of weird about it so specifics help me out so if you even want timelines if we um want within two weeks within a year you know time helps it helps it kind of narrows the focus for me and also will you do me the great biggest self favor of liking this video and maybe even like sharing it to a group that you are a part of or sharing it with a friend that you Think might get a kick out of my hair, you know, <laughs> anything that you think might be useful, share the love, spread the tarot love with your friends, your fam. That'd be wonderful and it helps me out great dears. Great, greatly dears. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> great, yeah, anyway. <laughs> so yes, today is gonna be six card readings. They're generally about six cards. Sometimes it goes a little like, oh, four decided to fall out, let's go there. Either who, I do wanna hop into the comments real quick just to say hellos and see who's all here. You have to forgive me. I hope the hair looks okay from here because it's been having a mind of its own. <laughs> Actually, everything was having a mind of its own today. I was trying to do my lips in the bedroom and it's just, I couldn't get one side to even up. <laughs> I was like, Arr! get cute. Anywho, let me get, <laughs> get cute. <laughs> all right, I want to see who's here. Oh, I, did, I see my sweet Bernadette. Hi, sweet pea. I'm so glad that you're here. I see your question. Hi, Rebecca Lynn. Thank you so much for coming in. Ricky, I don't recognize your McDonald's sign, so unless you might be new. No, it, I'm, I'm oh, you're a Melissa person. You. I'm so glad that you guys are here. It's just like, it's like blending of our worlds. So thank you so much for coming to hang out with us, Ricky. Um, Cassandra, thank you so much for hopping in. I definitely, definitely appreciate. Shonda, sweet pea, thank you so much for hanging out. Xavier, I love you that you're here. Sarah. Oh, all these people. If I start thinking about it too hard, I get all misty. I'm gonna ruin my mascara, don't do it. <laughs> Actually, it's waterproof, I'm good. <laughs> but we're not gonna, oh, you're Ray. Ray? Yes! yes! I'm so glad to see you, sweet pea. Thank you so much for coming here. We've been 
We've been all talking. Yes. Anywho, oh, Sasha, thank you for the uh, the hair confidence. Hair confidence, dear. Mm -hmm. Let me hop out of comments. Otherwise, this is never going to happen. <laughs> I'll get caught up in here and just chit-chatting and reminiscing and what have you. So I have my incense over here. If you see the smoke wafting, the desk is not on fire. Not yet. It has <laughs> happened before, though. I'm, I have a burn mark over here where I decided to... Um, I don't know, light my little, like, uh, anyway, I did something dumb. I should have known better. I have enough science background to know how heat works in a confined environment. <sighs> Do you remember that, babe? It was crazy. <laughs> like, oops, my bad. Yep, so I have a permanent bubble blister in my laminate over here on my desk. So I got myself all oiled. Um, if you haven't seen me work before, something that I like to do is use essential oils to kind of hop me right into work mode. And something about the aroma just kicks me like right into like, all right, we're in, we're in. This is what we're doing. So I'm gonna scoop my keyboard out of the way, scoop my incense out of the way. I'm gonna start shuffling cards. And when Melissa's ready, we can start pulling. So if you haven't seen, I'm using just the standard Rider weight today. I do have my light sears out um, as well. So if we feel inspired, we may hop into another set of cards. <laughs> That'll be fun. So I'm shuffling. There we go. Here we go. What does the relationship? Uh, what does the card see as far as my relationship? What does the card say regarding the relationship? Let's see what shows up. Your relationship. Hmm. Oops. There's the first couple. Let's see what shows up. Actually, that's going to be our mystery pack. We're going to put those over here. All right. What's going on with her relationship? Two, three. Four, five, six. First bit that I'm seeing, hun, and I'll show you the card just to kind of show you what I'm working with. I have the Two of Pentacles along with the Hermit card. And then I have the Three of Swords. So my first thought, like, that's kind of like an obvious, like, what's going on with them heartstrings, hun? Like, are you, I hope you are okay. Because this first line of cards kind of leans into, like, you, you were weighing your options and, uh, I wonder if you're getting to that point where you're between a, like a rock and a hard place and you're starting to have to go away to think, to go away and reflect. And the observations or the, what is it? the Not the fruitions, but the epiphanies that you're having is like, is leaving you with a broken heart. It's like one of those things is like, ah, <laughs> kind of jabbed in the chest a little bit. Uh, the other cards, which I like though, I have the nine of cups along with the empress and the three of pentacles. So relationship wise, whatever it is that is like stabbing you in the heartstrings, I don't think it's gonna be a long-term situation because then like the, the 10 of cups is that super abundant, super bright. Usually it's a super optimistic, hi, yes, kind of, kind of card with the empress being pregnant with opportunities, pregnant with new projects, maybe po be possibly, are you knocked up, honey? <laughs> Like you might need to tell us something, but with the three of pentacles, see, I'm wondering if there's any pregnancies there in your future, or if you, or, or caveat, if you're not trying to get pregnant, do something about that. <laughs> or maybe it's just that whole, there's lots of things that it could be. And with details, I can give better answers. Um, but in this kind of situation, it feels like there's this mixed bag. First, you have this area where it's like, I'm coming, I'm having realizations that um, hurt my heart, a little bit of heartbreak. But with that, I wouldn't be surprised if there's something that kind of makes you have that whole big old rainbow moment, like that whole super excitement. But, honey, are you pregnant? Because I have family here. I have a pregnant lady over here. <laughs> I have one plus one equals three over here. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what's going on with you. No, you're not knocked up. Okay, well, I'm just saying, um, be careful. <laughs> you got some pregnancy cards in there. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brenda. If you want something a little bit more specific, please feel free to reach out to me. I don't mind looking into something more. Oh, we have these other two cards. What are these? So we had the four of pentacles that hopped out with you earlier. And then the seven of cups. So there's to me like this fear response that's kind of getting you um, closed off a little bit, but there's options. So, hmm, I wonder what's going on in your situation. You have details to give me, darling, details. <laughs> Thank you so much for that question though. Ray, I keep seeing numbers. What does the universe want to say to me? Ooh, that's always a fun experience when you start seeing like combinations um, of digits and, it's like an awareness. It's like every time you look at the clock, it's like five, 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 and you're like, 
Oh gosh, what is that? What does that mean? What is the universe trying to say? What are we trying to get you to pay attention to? What do you what do you need to pay attention to? Ray. 11 11. Yeah, that's a big popular one. That's just surprising. Like, I'm sure there is some, like, some cosmic, like, you know, what do you call it? Is it? Ah! <laughs> the East Coast 11 11, y'all. Um, gosh, it's like there, there's got to be some, like, cosmic pattern. It's like you can't, you can't tell me that there's not something about it. But let's see what we can find out. Two, three, four, five, six. Ooh. Let's see what shows up. So I have the first part for you is the King of Cups along with the Eight of Wands and the Seven of Cups. So similarly to uh, what I just mentioned before about the Seven of Cups is, is talking often about options and opportunities and availability to us. The cool thing is that with the Eight of Wands, those options are coming quickly. And then on the flip side of that, you kind of have to get into your, your sense of um, ownership and authority and power so that you can take advantage of those opportunities as they show up for you because they're moving, hun. So I'm reiterating authority and leadership and power because the emperor also showed up for you. So with that is the queen of cups. Oops, let's put her in front. And then the five of swords. So I don't know, so the, the excuse me, the memory that I just had is this um, phrase that sometimes is said in the house is sometimes there's unfair advantages that um, either we have or the people have because of certain situations. So I'm wondering if there is opportunities or deals or processes, something going on in your immediate around you that you need to step into your, step into your shoulders a little bit more so that you can come with a sense of, I'm in charge of this. I'm uh, the authority of this. I'm in control of this so that you can pick up what everybody else has left on the ground. So like, I mean, I know that you are reselling land, so I can only like estimate, <laughs> but you and Melissa will totally have to chat and then let me know. <laughs> Y'all have to let me know. <laughs> yeah, how that lines up and how that connects for the two of you. So yeah, just like, if I could send you my emperor card and you keep it, but you know, give it back later, I, here you go. <laughs> Sweetie, thank you so much for your question though. Definitely, definitely appreciate it. Let me get shuffling. Thank you, Ray. Is the girl I'm talking to make me her girlfriend? And should we move in together? Oh, well, not until you date, at least. <laughs> like, at least, like, wait until that second part happens. So let's see. Oh, yeah, I know it's, it's uh, complicated. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, is this one? gonna make you a girlfriend. Let's do that one. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. One bunch. So the first card I have for you is the three of cups, five, six of swords, along with the queen of pentacles. So my first inclination is that with uh, the relationship and the, the situation that you got going, it does seem like you two are gonna be coupling up a bit. Um, hmm. See, this one is the, this this one will would mad her more if I knew more of the details, like the background of your relationship. Cause usually when this card shows up, there is a traversing, there is a traveling, there is leaving one area to go to somewhere else. There's leaving something that's turbulent to waters that are a little bit smoother, like in the background. And then those swords are all about what you decide to take with you. And so that's like, could be literal baggage, could be like actual baggage. So it's like, you, you know, it's, it kind of has that feel of like, oh, I wonder if y'all are going to be <laughs> moving in together. The Queen of Pentacles is often the, the mother hen of the tarot set. She's the one that likes to have um, all of her chicks under her, her wings. She's the nester. She makes sure house and home is taken care of. Um, funny thing is, I have the same cards I had in the last read. So let's see how these ties together. So I have the Emperor for you as well, along with the King of Cups and then the Five of Swords. The energy with this setup, though, is a little bit different. And so I'm wondering, like, the, the question mark that I have is um, the breaking off of connections with other people that you have before you actually move in together. 
Does that make sense? <laughs> so if you have lingering exes, if they have lingering you know, responsibilities, make sure that the boundaries are very, very clear um, before there's the actual co-mingling, if that makes sense. So I definitely, like while this can be a wonderful card in certain situations, I don't want you to be the person who gives up, drops their sword and walks away. Like I, I don't want that for you, I'd rather you be this person who's having the grand old time, enjoying life, picking up the stuff that other people have left on the ground. So just matter of perspective. But um, to answer the question directly, it does seem like you two are gonna be commingling. <laughs> commingling. I don't know if you're gonna be moving in like tomorrow, but I wouldn't be surprised if it happens pretty quickly. It just seems like it has a, um, a like a snowball, a slight, a slight snowball. So like, yeah. It's, it's rolling, huh? It's rolling. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for that question. No, that was fun. Mm -hmm. Bye. All right, what about, what about to dedicate my life to being a university professor ah, in my field? What about it? Maybe that's the question. What about you dedicating your life to being a university professor in your field? Mm -hmm. I hope it's astrophysics. <laughs> Actually, I would love to know what it actually is. We were watching um, the attempted SpaceX launch today. I wish it could have gone up. That would have made me so happy. No. Saturday, we're gonna try it again Saturday. That is science. Oh my gosh, I love science. Okay, anyway, let me stop getting distracted. What about you dedicating your life in this field? Dedicating your life in this field. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Ooh. One of the cards that showed up made me um, think if this is like um, a family connection. In addition, like, does uh, your family also study this kind of this field, or uh, was there somebody like? Because this came up for me, like, um, you know how your dad was an engineer, so it's perfectly. Like, oh, of course you'd also be an engineer or a designer or a mechanic. Like it kind of has that family kind of connection to it. The other cards that I have for you is the Page of Cups along with the King of Swords and the Star. So my first thought is there's an aspect of this that I, I as an academic, like my other brain is a bit academic. I love it. So I think it feels amazing to be able to, to isolate yourself with other people who are also academics who also brain kind of functions in that way, who's super studious, who loves the research. There's there's an affinity for that. That's oh, oh you can only describe that with other like <laughs> other people who are who are studying, who are massively obsessed with their particular field. My concern and my question for you though is just the um, the tenacity to be isolated though. So with the star, it's like when you are in your own head and your or in your own room and you forget to come out and you forget to come out for a while and you start to lose your social connections and you start to lose um maybe even what day it is <laughs> because you've been like so invested so involved so dived in um that's just the 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 like come on up come on up hun. <laughs> the other aspect of it i have the six of cups i also oopsies have the ace of pentacles and the five, six, seven. I have to like memorize these numbers, the seven of wands. I feel like the work that you are going to be doing, I wonder if it's research-based because this ace of pentacles to me had like this, this need for like grants or this need for um, financial, um, don't it's like financial scholarship, financial donor, um, like the giving of money uh, to continue your studies or to continue your research or continue your projects. And that you, you are gonna have a bit of a struggle with that. There is gonna be a little bit of contention, probably just peer, uh, peer like peer to peer, P-E-E-R, there we go, um, contention as you try to get your research done or get your studies done. It will be a challenge is what it seems like, or as it as it shows up here, it seems like it will be a challenge, but it'll be like that labor of love, that thing that you cannot do anything but, because it's like part of your bloodstream, it's ingrained in your skin, that is what you wanna do, that is how you, ah, that makes you happy, that makes, that's chewy for you, that's chewy and fizzy for you. And my hair is starting to look like I'm Elvis. <laughs> Can you see this? <laughs> my hair, I'm telling you, it's been having its own mind today, so if you see me playing with it, just ignore me. But anywho, <laughs> I think you dedicating your 
life to your field is going to be um, a labor of love. And I hope you enjoy that. <laughs> and this piece. Oh, well. Anywho, we'll get it squished in there. Maybe I'll put a stick of incense. And we'll just, we'll, we'll just hold it in there. <laughs> All right. Let me get shuffling, my dear. Shonda, I've been thinking about getting a level two certification in this energy healing technique I've been using. Is now a good time or should I wait? Ooh. Cool. Let's see what we, we, what would be in Shonda's best interest? What would be in Shonda's best interest? Shonda, my dear sweet pea, is a part of my, um, I have a little like a uh, side learning group, a little tar AB tarot learning group um, that I work with to teach uh you know, just reading from an average perspective. It's not so much reading from like, what is a, a star equals this meaning because there's books, there's videos, there's a million things for that. But I also, I teach mainly from like, these are the tools and the techniques and the ways and the, this is how I attack a question. This is how I look at it from this perspective. And I teach that to other readers or other people who are interested in learning. And it's a fun grand idea time. And, oh, Shonda, I might be getting a little space out um, behind my house and I'll be able to do like mass recordings. <laughs> so we'll have more video work instead of just novels <laughs> of text. <laughs> I know, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, last shuffle. And then our best interest should be late. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, my dear. So, fun bunch. I got the High Priestess along with the Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. So my first thought for you, hun, is that I love that you're using your intuition. I love that you're um, you're getting experience with the other side of the veil kind of thing. Um, my thought, though, is that actually having a little bit of patience and not pushing, uh, not pushing the skill set too hard too fast um, gives you the opportunity to get certain, get settled, get rooted in your skill set. So it actually grows a little bit more as you plan the other, as you plan this whole uh, expansion of your skill set. So you, my first thought, and I got to through the cards to go with, my first thought is to give it a little bit of time. Now, not 19 years time, but like not tomorrow. You get it? So like give it a little time for you to get some experience, give you some time to get it under your belts, not just know it in theory, but know it in practical, practicum, do the work, do the work in, in essence. Other cards I have for you though is the Nine of Swords with the Six of Pentacles and then the Star. And so part of this, I feel like there's something else going on, Hun Bunch, um, that's bringing up that Nine of Swords for you. So maybe you and I need to have a conversation <laughs> and maybe some venting, um, whatever it is that is keeping you up at night and making you feel a little bit insecure, a little bit wonky, um, that will interfere with your skill set and probably needs to be nipped in the butt um, sooner rather than later. And maybe the, the tool itself can help you heal some of those issues, whatever is showing up for you, but the, it needs to be addressed because that's going to turn into a little bit of an abscess for you unless it's dealt with soon, especially in the work that you're doing. Because all that you would do is just bring that that infection, bring that that pain, bring that whatever it happens to be for you into your work. And that's no fun. It's like, you know, working with dirty hands. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that, hun. But ultimately, you're going to be fine in the work that you're doing. I'm glad that you're developing your skill set. I'm glad that you're doing this. Continue to do it. Give yourself a little bit of patience and a little bit of time to get some experience under your belt before you hop into the next one. Make sense? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. All right, let's shuffle. Will I get married? Tiffany? Well, of course you can if you want to. Oh, I'm getting flushed. Do you see these cheeks? <laughs> oh my goodness. Tiffany, let's see what shows up for you, my dear. Oops. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna scoot those over to the side. I had a couple cards hop out for us. So usually that just gives us like the overall scope, like the high level 300,000 foot view. <laughs> Will you get married? Will you get married? Let's shuffle. One more. We'll pull out six and see what shows up for you. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Well, Tiffany get married. One, two, three. Four, five, oops, six. There we go. 
So the cards that hopped out of the set of cards or the, the deck for you while I was shuffling, shuffling was the Four of Swords along with the Hangman. So the first tiny bit of wisdom, the tiny bit of um, love, <laughs> love in a cup, hun, um, is to like, it's okay to rest <laughs> on it. I know that we like to think about um, getting married. We want to, is that the one? Is this the one? Is that the person? Is this next date going to be the person that I'm going to marry? You know how you've, you've, how so often we, plan out our events and we haven't even met the person yet. It's like, we're, we got the date scheduled on the calendar. It's the first date. And we already know if we're going to marry them in 16 years or no, like it's okay to actually just allow the relationship, the connection to be just to be what it is to actually surrender a little bit and allow it to unfold instead of us prying it open to make it what we would like it to be. The other cards though, the other cards that I have for you is the eight of wands again, along with the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. So you getting married, my first thought is, my first nudge is about children, actually. I'm wondering if you will get pregnant before you get married, but that there's something that leads into the marriage. So I'm like, ooh, I, or for instance, maybe you, you decide to have a child or you decide to do this. And as a part of doing that, you then decide to get married. It kind of has this cart before the horse little little aspect to it. I do have the three of pentacles along with the four of pentacles and the nine of wands. So while I'm inclined to think that you, you will get married in, in some point in your life, I feel like the, the stressing or the worrying is kind of actually putting the brakes on it for you a little bit. So I think using that four of swords that showed up originally, that's like the ultimate like rest card, um, using the energy of like just resting on the topic on, relaxing a bit about it, knowing that it will show up for you because that is what you designed for yourself. That is what you want in your environment, in your life will prevent you from having days that look like that. <laughs> the poor guy looks a bit pummeled. You just want to give him a hug, <laughs> but it's, it's all in good. It's all hun. If this is what you want for yourself, this is what will happen. That's what will happen. But working from <sighs> ease rest and ease or ease and grace ease and grace i've been saying that like for two days now ease and grace hun <laughs> love it a lot a lot but yeah if that's what you want for yourself hon that'll happen thank you thank you for your questions sarah ah uh, your question is how will i meet my soulmates and will it happen soon thank you ever so much i threw in the ever so much she just said so much we'll go with that <laughs> You know, I've got to be a little dramatics, you know. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. How will you meet your soulmate? That's a good question. Hmm. I have theories and thoughts and processes, but let's 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 try not to influence it. Let's not try to influence it. Here we go. Shuffle it one more time. How will she meet this person? Okay. Two, three, four, five, six. Ah, okay. I don't like to give all the details out too fast too soon. <laughs> so I have the high priestess for you, sweet pea. I also have the two of cups and the two of wands. So for, for me, hun, it almost seems like there's there's this, it feels like a triad and trying to figure out a way to describe what I'm kind of seeing, feeling, because it feels like when you have your hand on one thing, but you're looking at another. And to me, that comes up with the whole idea of when you're focusing on something else, you miss what you have in front of you. Or when you're focusing on something, an idea, we miss what's available to us. So it's that whole, that, that thing. I hope you understand where I'm going with that. Um, in addition though, and I kind of dig this part, is the Nine of Cups along with the justice card and then ending on death and transformation. So, huh, how will you meet your soulmate? How will you meet your soulmate? I'm half, I'm half inclined to believe that you will meet him, them in a um, legal aspect. Cause the justice card usually is about like contracts or um, law enforcement was the first thing. Like I kept seeing like police officer or law, law enforcement is kind of like the thing that keeps showing up. Um, so I'm wondering if this might person like 
you know, it'd be amazing and kind of epic is if you accidentally get arrested and then you end up marrying your, your, your person, <laughs> the person that arrested you. <laughs> I've heard of that happening, but that like the, that action is then transformative. So there's something that happens or occurs legally or through a legal process of some sort. Uh, Cause there's like the, the sort of justice and balancing out with the scales. And then that whole process in itself is transformative in a way. So I wouldn't be surprised if you meet this person or you meet, you have that um, epiphany that occurs for you, probably in the middle of all hell breaking loose <laughs> or things just changing around you super fast or uh, what do you call it when you like till soil? When you like put the shovel into the ground and flip it over, that to me is the, the death card is that flipping of soil. So when you're, excavating, when you're clearing out stuff, when you're taking care of old garbage and what have you, that's when that person's gonna gonna show up for you. Hey, thank you for that question. That was a fun one. Mm, read it up more often. <laughs> thank you, babe. I was referring to my, my babe over there. <laughs> All right, trying to find some direction, but not sure where to start. I need something to strive for. I'm getting in a funk. Ah! I'm sorry, sweetheart. Let's see what we can dig into and see if we can get something going. See if we can get something going. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Last shuffle. Once, two, three, four. Gotcha. All right, hon. So first bit of cards I have for you is the, just drew straight blank. <laughs> My bad. That's the Knight of Wands. I also have the Page of Swords along with the Tower card. So hun, my thought for you in my, um, I guess words of wisdom, words of advice, or it, like an invitation is the way that I like to put it. Um, the Knight of Wands and the Page of Swords, they both have this energy of wanting, of like um, when you're pushing up against a brick wall. It has that energy of fighting against things that aren't moving. And so with that, the only way in which they move is that whole, hmm, when they kind of blown up. You, you get where I'm going? Because I've, I've personally had that instance where I've worked with people who I could not get on the same page. I could not get them to work for the business. I could not get them to cooperate. I could, there was nothing I could do to get it to work. And it wasn't, change didn't occur until the thing blew up. Like almost literally blew up. <laughs> and the other cards I have for you is the four of swords along with the sun card and then the moon card. So this kind of has a paradox to it, which I kind of love. So with that tower, with that tower, that mass explosion, like, you know, lighting dynamite under something, there's the four of swords, which is that rest. That's that giving yourself some time to just be. So not having it all figured out, not knowing what the next step is, not having it all detailed out, not having the business plan all put together, not having all the P's and Q's all written out, but giving yourself some time to actually just be. And then like actually enjoy that space, enjoy that time. It's like, look at that happy freaking child and all them sunflowers. And that's a really nice little, little sun. But with that, we'll show you that next perspective. That's that sight unseen. That's the stuff that you can't quite see around the bend yet. And if we don't panic about that and just focus on the fact that we're having a grand old time, you'll be able to navigate it so much better. But uh, looking at your environment, like what is it going, what is going on in your own life right now that needs a little bit of dynamite under its ass? Like, <laughs> light that on fire and watch it explode. Like that's what I want to understand for you and see how that can actually um, ignite some change for you. And it's just this repeat, repetitive energy or feel of ign ignition, ign igniting and ignition for you. So I'm wondering what's going on there. But hun, if you want something a little bit deeper, a little bit more specific, please feel free to reach out to me directly. That kind of question is really, really good for a one on one via video or a one on one via email. So either one of those options, I think would be really well suited so that I can dig into your personal situation on a, on a deeper, deeper level for you. But thank you, sweet pea. I definitely, definitely appreciate your question. Can you read for me on my near future? Hmm. Let's see what shows up for you here. Let's see. Something that I like to say is that this the future is written in sand, as I'm playing in sand right now, trying to put my incense out, um, and not in stone. 
So I love how it is malleable and fluid. So if you don't like whatever shows up for you, you can change that. <laughs> you can use that wisdom to change it. Let's shuffle. What does your near situations look like? Okay. What's the near future look like for you? Real. What does the near future look like? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let me show you what I have. I'm gonna show it in a line so you understand the progression. So I'm, I'm reading it kind of like a story of progression. So this is purely focused on you and it seems like it's only about what's going on for you. So the Knight of Wands kind of has this beginning energy of courage, adventure. He's riding off to whatever. It's like, right, it's that new, new adventure optimism. And then with that comes the hangman. So with that new adventure optimism in one direction or the other, it's this way, there we go. Um, there's the hangman. And so when the hangman shows up, he's that, uh, that moment of rest. It's that moment of surrender, that letting things be as they are. And just like a, when you stop trying to swim upstream, essentially. In addition, let's see, there is the king of wands. Interesting part is the King of Cups. I have another court card with the Page of Swords, and then we all end on the Hermit. So, huh. My first thought is that your connections or your um, conversations or maybe like your relationships with like other people, um, one, they're already a little strange because of the, the obvious, but I'm wondering with these two kings, see if you can see it the way I show it. There we go. These two kings are not talking to each other. So I'm wondering if you have like a friend that you're having some <laughs> issues with, or is there like a person in your family that you're having some, like, we don't talk, we don't have this conversation. We don't, we don't connect. We don't, we don't talk. But the point is, is that there's going to need to be some um, cutting of the bullshit <laughs> with the page of swords. So use that sword to kind of um, one, like def defend your honor. I don't want to give it like that. I want to like defend your purpose. It's like, you know how you, um, People who carry guns don't often carry guns to be like aggressive or assertive, but it's like self-defense and it makes them feel better. So I'm wondering if like that sword, if you come to a conversation with your sword in hand, it's not to be defensive or offensive, excuse me. It's for you to kind of feel safe, to feel protected and feel safe, safe as you're dealing with whatever it is that you're working on. When you end up with the hermit though, that's the opportunity to leave, to uh, self-reflect, to um, get quiet in your your mind, your own space. This is an individualized card. So whatever happens in that conversation that you then, you know, cut up, cutting out some bullshit and then defending of yourself, if it ends up with you mm. having to separate and then being on your own to kind of self-reflect on what's going on there for you. So I wonder what's happening and then totally come back and let me know <laughs> if that lands lines up, how it lands up and, and if there was any anything that came with that. So I'd totally love to know how that goes for you, my dear. But thank you so much for that question. Yay. So, ooh, ooh. Okay, hold on. I gotta set my timers. Set my timers. Oops. One of these days I'll know what my phone looks like. There we go. Timer, timer, timer. <gasps> Four minutes, there we go. Okay, so. I hope if you were here last week, and even if you're not, I'm gonna tell you anyway. Um, last week, I introduced a service called Just One Question. <laughs> Just One Question. Um, because so often, so often people come and they want to just ask one thing, you know, not really have the whole read, not really have the time for a full read um, or an appointment or what have you. So they just have one question, just something that they want a little insight or a little uh, intuition on. And I've developed a process through the through my website so you can order just one question and the way that i do that is that through a link and melissa is going to drop it here into the comments just to show you um through that link it will give you what the spread and that's not even a spread for me it's it's a email it's an emailed reading that i conduct in response to your question so you have your question you have that just one question that you want answered you type it into the form box which will it'll prompt you to it and then it sends me an email of your question. And then what I do is I respond to that email, which comes to you. And so that email shows up, it 
comes to me, I do my 12 cards on whatever set of cards I feel most drawn to, and then answer that question directly. Now, if for instance, you bring a, a very heavy question that needs a little bit more time, I will totally let you know, and we'll talk about that further, but I always make a point of just answering that specific one question. Those questions are super fast, so I can get them done within between like six to 12 hours. So don't be surprised if like when that question comes in, it's answered a couple of hours later. It all depends on my workload, because I am a busy lady. <laughs> but I do like taking care of just these, just these one little questions, just these little <laughs> just the one because so often there's just the one question that needs to be answered so please oh yes and that's it that's just a 12 dollars reading so it's my my most economic of all my readings and it's just one question it's about six cards um and it's a pretty fast read too so it's a really really good opportunity to get familiar with a new reader maybe get a little insight on a question that you have um and just experience and experiment it's it's fun and i'm enjoying it i'm just like no no i might have to keep this as a permanent little practice, but if um, it turns out that no one's using it, then we'll make it go away. <laughs> but for now, it is there, it's available, and so please take advantage of that. In addition, I like to make sure that you also know how to get in touch with me um, if you should want more extensive work done. So there's three other methods to get in touch. Yes, I do email readings. Yes, I do chat readings, so via Facebook Messenger. Um, and then I also do video readings by Zoom. So the Zoom readings we record so that you can reflect on those, look back at those at a later time, and I send those to you at the end of the call. Those run 30 or 60 minute increments, and then you can buy additional 15 minutes if you want 45 or an hour and some change. Um, so those are options that are available to you there. In addition, with the, the chat readings, it's the same time increment. It's 30 minutes or 60 minutes. They're a little bit um, lower in price um, because that is a smaller, set of questions that can get answered in that time but it's really nice if you really just don't have the the cam ready hair <laughs> or you want to stay in your pjs for a little bit longer <laughs> no worries there we can totally do that reading by chat um and right now email readings are one of my favorites to do um i have a couple templates that we base it on i have a spiritual guidance um email reading and i also have like a wisdom and guidance that's a little bit more fluid and e it's unique to every question. So the reading is dynamic and it changes um, per customer that receives it. So those are the ways in which you get in touch with me. If you should ever like to, please feel free to, the link is in the post. And there's also, I believe, a link in the comment section. So you can use that to da -da -da, get in touch with the Abby. <laughs> Ooh, I hit it right on the nose, go me. <laughs> All right, dismissed, perfectly. Yay, we're gonna be doing some more questions. All right, Leah, let's see. Am I making the right decision in changing my profession? Let's see, let's see. Are you making the right decision? I gotta bounce because we gotta get the, you know, the, the funsies up. <laughs> we gotta get it up. Mm, funsies, we'll gotta get the, anyway, I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> so are we making the right decision in changing your profession? Changing your profession, let's see. Last shuffle. Are we making the right decision in changing your profession? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say yes because a couple of reasons. So, first, I have for you is the judgment card. Um, that to me is like you finally just letting go of dead weight, essentially. You've decided, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I've been thinking about it, I'm doing this. Just You, you just finally decided to, to, to go, kind of thing. Then you also have the uh, Nine of Cups. To me, that is always a yes whenever it shows up. Um, the Knight of Cups is this bringing of new opportunities, bringing of new um, adventures, of new uh, emotions, a new, a new, bringing of a new. There we go. <laughs> In addition, I have the Six of Cups. So there's this little bit of give and take that happens between the two of them. Often this card has a past life association to it as well. So maybe there's this... Uh, slightly comic element to it. So if this is something that you've planned, this is something that's in the, almost like in the genes in a way, like if you think about it, like this feels like you're being more true to who you actually are or who you want to be. So there's that that element to it. So, and then you have the three of pinnacles. That's all about work, honey. Like that screams work all day, every day. And then the eight of wands. So with that is a quick change or a quick pro progression. Things that are moving quickly for you, hun. So are you making the right decision? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> That one's, that one's not a question at all. And yes, that is in your best interest. And I'm glad that you're doing it. So 
take that one to the bank, <laughs> my dear. All right, need to ask if problem with our fam is going to be resolved in our favor. Thank you. Huh? Oh. Oh, problem with our farm, with our fam. I totally said family, huh? Okay, thank you for the, see, she, she's got my back over there. <laughs> with our farm is going to be resolved in our favor. Okay, let's just see if we can hit it with a yes or no and see if there's any details that we can garner from that. So we'll start off with three and then see what else we need. Okay. So shuffle. Well, the problem with our farm, your farm, not my farm. My farm somewhere else. Resolve in your favor. Problem with the farm being resolved in your favor. Did you know that the property, the five acres, is technically classified as a farm? Yeah. It would be resolved in your favor. Let's see what shows up. Yes or no. First bit for you, hon. I have the King of Pentacles along with the Queen of Wands and the Two of Wands. My my thought, I'm wondering if there's something to do with the property line or the, because my first thought was like the, the perimeter or like the, because it reminded me of issues that some people will have when it comes to property lines is like where yours is versus where mine is kind of thing. So I'm wondering if it had something to do with that. The other cards that showed up for you was the chariot along with the eight of swords and then the wheel of fortune. So I'm inclined to think that it's not, it's going to be like a mixed bag of a wash. It's like, it's a little bit yes in your favor, a little bit like, well, that sucks, but it's okay. It's not like the whole thing kind of, it has this like very midway kind of meh. That's a little annoying. Like, of course, whatever your issue is, you'd like it all to be in your favor. That would be wonderful, but it feels like, it's kind of halfway there. Kind of, yeah, it's it's not as bad as it could be, but it's not as amazing as you want it to be either. So it's super kind of deadpan, like just halfway to halfway halfway awesome, <laughs> halfway awesome. I do love though that the wheel of fortune in there um, is going. So that's that's that wheel of fortune is spinning. I think you'll land okay, but it just feels okay. It doesn't feel like hey. It doesn't feel like oh shit. It feels very like okay. So, hon, you'll totally have to let me know um, how that goes and see how that shows up for you and see how that shows up for you over time. Uh, will I have children? Um, let's do the win part later or some other time because um, that can be a fun and extensive uh, read. But totally, let's dive into the will you have children part. Let's see. And just to kind of reiterate, when you um, ask your questions for me, I love your questions. Thank you so much. Um, one question at a time is what's necessary. And if we get to, like, um, I know that yours is like one question with a caveat, but uh, not caveat with the, like an extender, but I need to split those questions up because to me, they're two different processes. They're two different processes on this table. And the other one takes a long time. <laughs> so to keep it moving, to keep it running smoothly, will you have children? Will you have children? Will you have children? Let's see, let's see. Will you have children? Two, three, four, five, six. All right, hun bunch. Will you have children? So I have the King of Pentacles, along with the Three of Cups, and this Ace of Wands. My first thought is in this whole shebang, you're gonna have fun trying. <laughs> That is what I, uh, that is for certain though. In addition though, I have the 10 of swords, which is the only card that I'm kind of like me on the 10 of swords along with the five, six, seven of wands, and then the six of pentacles. So my thought for you though, you're going to have a grand old time trying. I'm glad for that. So that makes, you know, that that's, that's good feels there. I think it's not going to be a walk in the park to get pregnant or to, to have, yeah, the, getting the pregnant part. I don't think that's going to be a walk in the park, um, at least like as of right now. Um, so I'm wondering if maybe there'll be issues in the literal, like getting the conception going, or if you'll need to have like, you know, intervention, if there'll need to be fertility treatments, if there'll need to be, um, it feels like just some intervention to accelerate <laughs> the process for you. But I've had this uh, card come up for me when IVF was used, not for me, but like for other clients. <laughs> 
<laughs> when IVF was used. So that was like one of the, the questions that I had that we had to work a little bit harder to get our goals accomplished. But will you have children? If that is what you want, hun, then you're going to get it done, essentially. <laughs> there you go, my dear. So yes, they're hopping into flash readings. Those are so much fun for me because they're one, they're one question, one card, and then I do them really quickly. So to me, I feel like it turned into a better reader when I start uh, reading faster. So ah, I love doing that. So I'm shuffling. I'm gonna shuffle, and then when Melissa's ready, she's gonna pull a question. We're gonna just pull a card. Pull a card. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Will I get closer to reaching my dream? In the second half of 2020, will you get closer to reaching your dreams? Will you get closer to reaching your dreams? Ooh, judgment card for that. I feel like you can. And I say you can instead of like, yes or no, because it's it's a bit um, more directional than that. If you are continuing to move in the direction of things that feel good in relation to your dreams, then yes, you'll be taking one step closer every freaking day just by waking up. Now, hun, if you decide to stay in bed and do nothing towards your dreams every uh, on the second half of 2020, then of course, no, right? So this one's a little bit obvious and a little bit... Um, there you go. <laughs> so long as you're hang hanging off or going off in the direction of the things that you want most, then yes, my dear. No question about that one. <laughs> Thank you so much for it, though. Will my divorce run smoothly? Oh, cheese. Cheese. Did I say cheese? cheese. I, I meant to say cheese. Like, oh, my cheese. It, 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 <laughs> cheese. Oh, we're just going to run with it. I say, oh, my cheese. <laughs> That's my new phrase. Now I want to put that on a shirt. <laughs> oh, my cheese. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, see, she keeps me focused. All right, will your divorce run smoothly? Will your divorce run smoothly? What is the card that wants to show up for us today? So, da -da 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 -da. Uh, okay, semi-smoothly. And I I mean like um, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Weighing of this, weighing of that, the back and forth is, um, so it's not like a, it's, mm, what is, what is this? This is more of back and forth, but non-dramatic. So it's it's not as prickly as back and forth fighting, back and forth drama, back and forth uh, mess. It's more of just like, I'll listen to that offer. That makes sense. Okay, let's go this back to the table, like back and forth. So a wave. It's not, not, not placid, but it's a wave. <laughs> but it's also not storm water either, so. It's it's not so bad, not so bad. All right, should I get my doctorate Ooh, in physical therapy? All right, let's see what shows up. Doctorate in physical therapy. Oop. Oh. Of course, they want to be all flummeled. Is that a word? Flummoxed, flummeled. No. In my world, it's a word. <laughs> flummeled. I get, I'm getting kind of Elvisy again. I like that. I'm totally gonna have to get some bobby pins or something. Like, do I have something? Like I can stick in anyway. Ooh, <gasps> I have a um, porcupine quill. Hold on, for a moment. I won't. I promise, babe. I will not leave it in there because I know she's over there, like fussing. There we go. Okay, okay. <laughs> Just for a moment. <laughs> she's gonna come hit me with a spray bottle. I feel it. <laughs> All right. Should we get your doctorate in physical therapy? Let's. <laughs> Okay, I can be serious and do this at the same time. Watch. <laughs> okay, doctor in physical therapy. What is this one? Ooh, Knight of Cups. I definitely think you should. That would give you some new opportunities, new experiences, new huh, scope of your. Okay, I can't even take myself seriously. Uh, <laughs> new scope for your work and your processes and things that you do. I do think that's actually a good move for you. Um, so yeah, yeah, I think you should, my dear. I think you should. Are we done laughing at me now? <laughs> All right. You like the Elvis look? Thank you, darling. I do too. <laughs> Except it gets in my eyes and then forehead. And, you know, I already have a short forehead. Let's not make it even shorter. So <laughs> does this guy I'm talking to actually like me? I certainly hope so. Let's see what shows up for us. Does this person actually like you? Do they like you like you? Let's see. Does this person actually like you? What is this? This is the... Hmm. Age of Cups. Age of Cups has the tendency to walk away from things. So my thought is, even if he, even if he likes you, it's like, 
it's uh, in relation to other things. So it's like there's other things that are, that are more attention getting or more important, maybe just higher priorities um, at the moment. And that doesn't mean like other people, that could just be, be like other responsibilities, like family, children, work, you know, other other things that are bigger on the table than just the conversation or just the communication um, going on here. So it doesn't mean it's nothing, it's just not that big at the moment. And that's just at the moment and this can totally change. So hopefully it changes. Put a fire under that. <laughs> Thank you for that question, though. All right, I'm gonna shuffle away. Will I carry and deliver a baby? Oh, you're gonna be a surrogate? Oh, surrogate, surrogate, not surrogate, surrogate, right? Okay, good. She's the, the language arts person, so surrogate. <laughs> you're gonna be a surrogate, that's so sweet. Okay, will you? Let's see what that card shows up for us. Will you open? Okay. Will you? Okay. Here we go. Da -da -da. What is this? Uh, five of Wands has this conflict, is a bit of a conflict card. So I wouldn't be surprised if you try. I wouldn't be surprised if you you do try, um, but it doesn't land or it doesn't take or like the process, like the, the first round um, is enough. And then you're like, okay, I really don't think I want to actually go through this process because that's a lot of meds. That was a lot of mess that was a lot of stuff so if you question if you can get through all of the drama all the stuff all of the wands all that high energy stuff then you you most likely could it seems like though that you may take a step back once you see the full scope or once you've experienced the full scope because you know knowing it in theory and then experiencing it are two different things so once you go through the stuff you're like eh, no nah. Um, or you may push through and go through it, but there's this bit of conflict that goes through um, during it. So ooh, that's a good question. I'm inclined to say that now, but definitely not never. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so I'm still pulling one card. One card for you. Will my boyfriend ace his job interview tomorrow? Ooh, I am so. Will yeah. he ace his job interview? Will he ace his job interview? Will he ace that job interview? Ooh, what is this? I think he will present well, but he will be one of many. Um, so, huh. If he has a way of making himself stand out and be a little bit more memorable, um, that will play in his favor. Because right now it would just be between like, him and another like what can he do maybe just like drop a little bug in his ear like don't stress him out because that's never useful but what can he do to make himself a little bit more memorable is it like wearing a bright ass red shirt for his interview or is it like you know something you help, help help him figure out a way to stand out that'll be helpful thank you <laughs> thank you so much for that uh will you get married and have a family I'm gonna do the whole, will you get married? If you want to, if you want, if that's what you want. Well, obviously that's what you want, that's why you asked it. Um, is that something that'll happen for you? Let's see. Is that something that'll happen for you? Of course. Of course, hon. But let's see. Am I Elvis yet? No, we're good, okay. Da -da -da. King of Swords. So will you get married? Yes, I do think you're going to get married. I'm inclined to think that you might have multiples, though, because usually when the King of Swords comes up, this one's a temporary. This one, you usually don't stay married to this one. Um, the King of Swords can often be, um, hmm. for women, he is sometimes like the paternal figure. He sometimes behaves as father to uh, young ladies who may have not had that experience before. Um, he can sometimes be a little bit over, over, over domineering, I guess, is a way of putting it. Um, there's lots of other like characteristics about the King of Swords, um, when he shows up. So I wouldn't be surprised if you married more than once. Cause usually this person, when he shows up, it's not a long-term one. It's usually like, oh, that was a good experience. I don't want to do that one again. <laughs> and then you move on to something better, more amazing because now you figured out exactly what you do and do not want, or you can figure out what you do and do not want in advance. So you don't have to marry that person. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Uh, I start graduate school in July in a new state. Ooh, will it? Will I be successful? Of course. Yes. We've decided you will be. <laughs> well, Abby has decided that you will be. 
Yes, you'll be successful. Anyway, I'm gonna I am I promise I'm gonna pull cards for you instead of just being all dramatic. <laughs> Alrighty. Will you be successful? Oh let's pull a card. Here we are. One. Will you be successful? Hun, it is gonna be hard. And you will be successful if you can figure out a way to push through even when it is hard. And so it's like mine, the, what is it? The financial end of it was the, the question mark that I had. So if you, if you're having an issue with the financial aid or the financial elements to it, like figure out a way to make sure that is good so that it's easier for you to continue. So it's easier. So it's more likely that you will continue because right now it seems like it's going to be really, really hard. It's going to be difficult. You may have those moments of like, I just really, I need to put this down. Um, so if you want to succeed, you're going to need to figure out or concentrate on this whole pushing it through, even though it's hard bit, but I trust that you can, I trust that you can. <laughs> Thank you so much for that dairy. All right. Well, I find a good career soon. Ooh. P Jr. Is that Toa? Tao? To yeah. Let me not butcher your name. I'm getting kind of elvisy. I just see it. I see it showing up again. Just a little. Will you find a good career soon? Will you find a good career soon? Last shuffle. Ooh, that was a good long one. I like that shuffle. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Ooh. Mm -mm. Will you find a good career soon? This card usually shows up for me when there is um, something that you're sneaking in to do and then sneaking away to leave. Like, will you find a good career soon? Huh, what's this sneaky element about? I wouldn't be surprised if, for instance, there's like an, um, there's an aspect of your, of your career. Or maybe there's like a, a type of job that you've always wanted to do, but you've kind of been a little bit like, uh, people like me don't do that or I'm too shy or something like, what is it that you're kind of like in concert or doing, you know, behind closed doors that you'd really like to do professionally or, you know, do more of, but you're not allowing yourself to do. I have questions. This card gives me questions for you, my dear. Thank you so much for your question. No, I do. I do. I do. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate it. Uh, will I be promoted soon? Let's see if you'll be promoted. Six months. Let's do three months. Let's do it shorter. Will you be promoted in three months? Will you be promoted in three? What is the card going to be, darling? Promoted in three months. Here we go. What is this one? Promoted in three months? Question mark. Queen of Cups. Ooh. Queen of Cups gives me the uh, the idea or the thought that it's very possible that you could be promoted within the next three months, but I feel like it has something to do with an, um, like this person shows up to me when there's like an emotional person that's either in charge or in the way. And so it's like when they relocate or when they leave the job, that's when you get promoted. So like who's ever in charge right now or whoever is the emotional person that's in the role, like when they go, that's when you'll get leveled up, if that makes sense. But yeah, we have to get you have to move this one delicately along. She's a delicate flower, so she needs to be ushered along. <laughs> but soon, yeah, it seems like within the three months. I would like to know if I will find my soulmate and marry him. If you will. If you will. Oh, in 2020. Within this year. Okay, Melissa says that you asked uh, originally for within 2020. Let's see. Will she Let's do that? Okay, one, two, within 2020. There we go. What is this? Queen of Cups. Will you find them? Queen of Cups. Ugh. Okay, so, hun, I'm half inclined to say that you can, but she is so focused on her cup that I'm wondering if she's missing anything else. Like there's, there's other, there's water all around her. There's opportunities all, there's an ocean <laughs> in front of her, but she's so hyper-focused on this cup. I'm wondering if she's possibly missing that um, something's available to her. So my thought for that though, hun, is if we take out the word soulmate and kind of just stash that for a quick second, will you meet a person 
this year that very well could be freaking amazing and wonderful and you could learn so much from you could grow so much from um could you meet that person in 2020 i don't see why you couldn't i don't see why you couldn't my concern is that labeling that we're, we're throwing onto it that sometimes when we have that hyper focus label that we're looking for we end up not paying attention to other people that could be as equally as wonderful so that's just the the the, the caveat for you dear but within 2020 i don't see why not I don't see why not, why yeah, your Prince Charming couldn't be following along here soon. But thank you. Oh, are we have to, is it time to go? Is it time to go? Sad face, <laughs> sad face. I'm sad face because I do love doing this for you all. But thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. I do appreciate it. If you guys want to schedule some one-on-one -on -one private reading time with me, please feel free to click the link in the post. You can find that just one question reading or you can schedule something a little bit more elaborate, a little bit more um, in depth, especially if you have something that's a bit grander than what we can get in just a one question or just on the live session tonight. But yes, it's been so much fun. I hope you enjoyed your time here with me. I enjoyed my time with you. You all take care. Yes, and share this love. Share this love with someone that you care about. Some Maybe there's a message in here that you think would be, that would resonate for a friend of yours. Send them, tag them in it, do whatever you need to. All right, you dears. Thank you so much. Find me next week. Same time. Bye.